Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video! So guys, hello back to the channel and we figured the trend and the new, uh, let's say pattern in the Budo battle and it's uh, whenever you uh, see a Virgil or a Bison on a lineup, uh, whatever lineup it is, they always win. And this shows you how OP they are, but it shows you how consistent they are in the predictions. So if you want to capitalize your predictions and get more rewards and to achieve those boxes for faith gems or for car tokens, go always for the teams that have either Bison or Virgil. It doesn't matter who it is. Sometimes they're both together in the same lineup. And as you see, if we check the scores and we see Virgil here, he won. He's on the lineup. Again, we can see bison and virgil but bison even alone even if virgil is not here bison always uh wins virgil wins again virgil wins no bison here bison wins with virgil uh bison alone no virgil no matter who's on the team it seems that they always win virgil and bison here you go if they're both together it means 100 percent virgil again you see the lost teams they they don't have no virgil no bison so if they won they won but if they don't have them they most likely to lose and as you see here, again, Bison, Bison, and in the end, Virgil, Virgil won. So I was testing, I was like, no, this is the better team, 100% this team should win. So I, I, I went with that team, and again, Virgil won. So it gives you this, uh, uh, this idea that Virgil and Bison and, uh, teams uh, keep surviving and wins. So if you want to capitalize on this, that would be good for you. So... Uh, I've been testing this, looking at it, and I want to see the pattern. And many friends told me they always never lose. So uh, I did the prediction here. I I knew it. I knew that it has Virgil, and I knew he would most likely win. I was like, but see, this team seems OP and better. Let me just put my uh, gamble on this team and check, will it break the chain? And it didn't. So if this didn't break the chain, it means Virgil and Bison will never lose. Anyway, that was it. And let's go and talk about the Guild Crusade. And this time we have uh, this Bethurak uh, boss. And this boss is pretty a little bit tricky to come by. So we'll talk about the strategy and the skills. So this boss, first of all, uh, there's a skill that does and deals damage to you and grabs you towards it. And the second one is uh, it deals damage to summon three minions or three bugs. And these bugs you need to kill them because if they go and hit you they will explode and silence you for 15 seconds or or six seconds i forgot how much is the silence the silence is 8 12 and 16 they're gonna for 15 seconds exactly and you will get be hit with uh, soul damage um and these are the things that and this boss will gain shield when he does after the bugs he will deal a skill damage that will give him shield will be immune for uh attacks and you need uh, only a bleed shock or burn to remove those so somebody was asking me about can we use flame chan lee the flame penetration doesn't remove the stacks sadly and only the things that remove the stacks are written in here if you check the skills so it's bleed burn and shock so you can use friendly kami you can use fashion blanca dalsim you can use anybody can with bleed whoever for el fuerte they all work but the best uh, lineup that I saw, and because we are free to play and casual spenders, and I'm, I'm dedicating this channel towards it, so it's whatever I built with my lineups that will give me the most damage, especially that now I'm in Evil Abyss, and it's very, very hard to compete in the top 3 or top 4 or top 10, whatever, and so far I'm ranking 4. This will change, but I'm happy about it. It will keep me in the top 10 or top 50 at least. So. What I'm using here is Viper, Fashion Blanca, Bison, and Sweet Poison. I tried Evil Ryu, it didn't give me the best results, and uh, my team didn't survive most of the time. I did like 10 tries with Evil Ryu, it didn't work. So, uh, Viper, she has Shock and she has Burn. Fashion Blanca has Burn and he gives you the Wildfire buff. Bison gives you the buff with the Shadow Attack and uh, he's immortal, so he explodes a lot and, gives, and adds the Soul Damage. 
and three poison gives you the buffs from her c1 now whenever you go low hp with viper she will give you shields she will then everybody will deal more damage that has shields and you will refresh your combo meter and you will deal extra more combo and this is what we need to do and it will protect you also so from auto attacks from the boss and the thing is i'm using e virgil ex move i tried without it i promise you i tried i use these uh the the burning ex the burning ex is really good and i use the raging ex so it gives me more crits and attack and then i reuse the crazy potato i did 12 tries out of the 12 tries only one try i survived till the end with the crazy potato and my crazy potato is not that level it's level 20 people told me at level 30 and level 40 it will grant you that immunity and you will continue and deal the most of the damage but with virgil ex i had more success and i will show you the rerun now so how do I start? The, I wait for three bars or more. I wait for the bugs, for the enemy to drop the bugs. After they drop the bugs on the floor or this mechanical bugs, you need to kill them. So you wait a little bit until they go and the first bug until it has its energy bar at like 70 or 75%. You drop the EX, the burning EX, and then you drop Fashion Blanca Super. And it will burn uh, the rest of the bugs and this bug and it will apply burn on the boss pre his shields so pre pre before the boss applies the shield you apply this so you're gonna get burned from the ex move burn from fashion blanca hopefully two or three if you're lucky then you wait slowly slowly until the c1 drops its end for uh, state poison to use it and you wait on the c2 of fashion blanca till the end then you hit it and you wait on the c3 of viper till the end and then you hit it why we do that because i want to hit with viper uh, the th uh, shock and the burn that she inflicts with her c3 when the boss hits up the shields because the shock doesn't stay for too long it stays only for six seconds and the shock it, it removes the shields faster than the burn and it procs quicker because it's it gets removed faster so this is why we wait until the end plus there's an addition for why we wait until the end i don't want to go and deal ham damage to this boss like with the c3 because whenever I'm hitting the C3, when the boss is doing the combo or the super or whatever attack he's doing, he's gonna record the damage that you've done previously, not the damage that you're doing now. So he will deal extra damage to you if he recorded extra damage you dealt to him. So that's why we deal the damage while the boss is dealing damage. He will deal less damage to you so you would survive the attack from the boss before the last one so you don't need to use the Virgil EX in the middle of your rotation so I use and then when the boss hits that it will drain all the shields from him he will be with no shields we stop we continue accumulating combo meter and then the boss will go again and hit you with the with his super which is drags all of the units and deals soul power uh, soul damage to you and then you will be using the crazy potato or the raging demon whatever it is if you stay surviving and you start with viper seed poison fashion blanca viper until the end of the battle while he's dealing his third and last uh super to kill you you drop the virgil ex and you do uh, viper seed poison fashion blanca then viper again and you continue that until the end of the battle which we will heal the, do the stomps and gain the shield again but the time will be up so i will show you the rotation and what I'm using is this team. I'm using uh, Yang, a, a Yun on uh, Bison because he's trigger and every time Bison explodes in trigger he will drop and give you combo meter. I'm using Yang on Viper because it gives her more combo meter whenever she crits and he drops and deal damage. You can replace those of course. If you, can, you can put Kami here or you can use uh, Abel on Fashion Blanca for more protection. And you can use Chun-Li if you want on her so she gains more uh, crit uh, rate and that's how the fight goes now I will show you the replay let's go for x4 speed first of all we accumulate uh, combo meter and the boss will hit me with this super he grabs everybody it doesn't matter it's still early because we didn't deal that much damage it doesn't deal so much damage to us then he drops his minions and look when I drop the EX move at 70% I drop the EX move I start with Fashion Blanca I kill every single one of them then I go with Street Poison, slowly, slowly, then C2 of Fashion Blanca, and I wait. Until the boss starts, I start with uh, Viper. Now, I didn't take that much of damage, because I didn't deal that much of damage. Now, there's Shock and Burn, the shields are off, 
they they are removed very quickly very good ideal more combo meter i s wait for the boss to start as soon as the boss starts i drop my ex and i start hitting now why do i drop my ex Bec uh, the crazy potato here because i took a lot of damage and i don't want them to die during my rotation i continue my rotation and the boss will start i drop the ex move so he hits everybody i didn't die i accumulated the shields more combo meter i can go for more rotation and i continue and as you see bison explosion helped with clearing the minions and the c2 of uh, fashion blanca also and i continue and in the end he kills everybody if we could have one extra combo meter we can go and start with bison again but we couldn't and that what gave me the this incredible damage and as you see it ranked me up in the top four so far in the top 10 if i say in the top 10 it will be so much good uh 178 million now what are the other teams are using they're mainly using trendy kami so trendy kami instead of viper same rotation same thing as you see, Trendy Kami, Sweet Poison, Fashion Blanca, Trendy Kami, and this is the lineups. I think everybody is running Trendy Kami. Yeah, I don't think anyone is not running her. As you see here, the same lineup, Bison, Sweet Poison, uh, Viper, Sweet Poison, Fashion Blanca, and Viper. These are the lineups that you need to check. If you're free to play or low spender, this lineup will get you in the top 50, 100%. This is Evil Abyss. It's not... Uh, the three uh two three two and yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fly. Time to fly.